Welcome, my name is Kim Edgar and I work in the consulting team at NetSpot. Today I'd like to tell you about some of the new features in Moodle 2.5. Moodle 2.5 was released on the 14th of May 2013 and has a huge range of new features and improvements. In this video I'd like to show you some of my favourites and that will include the open badges integration uh, the form improvements and a couple of other bits and pieces that I've found to be absolutely excellent in this version. I've now logged into my local install of Moodle 2.5 and I'm currently logged in as the administrator. One of the things you might notice immediately is that the settings block has been renamed to an administration. If we have a look in an actual course, so I'm going to enter the course um, MBA Marketing, you'll notice that um, in the administration section for a course, we have our course administration and we also have reports appearing in the course administration rather than in the navigation. The next thing that I'd like to show you about Moodle 2.5 is the improvements to long forms, which are fantastic. To demonstrate this, I'm going to add an activity and I'm going to select a choice so you'll notice a couple of things which are different to previous versions of Moodle. We have the ability of collapsing and expanding individual sections of settings. We can also expand all settings for this particular activity. You'll see that um, if I scroll down that the settings which are most common are shown automatically whereas the other settings are automatically collapsed. At the top of the screen we have got our choice name, so I'm going to put in our favourite 2.5 feature for the name of my choice and just for the sake of making it quick I'm going to copy and paste that into the description. You'll notice in the description that we have the ability of showing or hiding the editing tools and once we've shown the editing tools we can also resize the editor so we can work um, more quickly in this particular screen. I'm just going to add a couple of options and save and return to course. The next thing that I'd like to show you is badges. Moodle 2.5 is integrated with the open badges from Mozilla. The badges are an excellent way of celebrating achievement and they can be used in Moodle in a variety of ways, um, both at a site level and at a course level. The badge that I'd like to show you is using an activity completion um, within a Moodle course, but the function is very similar whether you're using it at a course level or at a site level. You will notice that badges appear in a couple of places. Uh, one is in the navigation, which we'll have a look at shortly. This is where we'll see the badges for the course and also if they've been issued to uh, the participant or not. And the other place is in the course administration. What we're going to do in this example is we're going to use the choice as uh, the way of issuing the badge and we're going to use the activity completion. So before we get into actually creating the badge, we need to make sure that activity completion is turned on. So I'm going to go to the course settings, scroll down to completion tracking and turn enable completion tracking on and save changes. Next, I'm going to go into the settings for my choice and set up the completion tracking for that particular activity. So I'm going to scroll, I'll scroll to the bottom of the form, open the activity completion settings and set the completion tracking to show activity as complete when conditions are met. And in this case, I'm going to uh, show as complete when the user makes a choice and then return to the course. Now that we have an activity within the course that has got some completion settings, we can start to set up our badge. I'm going to go to badges under course administration and you'll see that we have the opportunity of managing existing badges or creating a new badge. So I'm going to click on add a new badge. You can give the badge a name, so I'm going to call it uh, 2.5 favourites. And you can give it a description. Again, just for um, speed, I'm going to have it as the same. Of course, I could drag and drop a file into this area, but I'm going to go through the Choose File and select a file, and then upload the file. 
You can also add issuer details such as the name of the institution and the contact details. You can optionally add a badge expiry, but for our example I'm going to leave it at never and click on create badge. At this point you get to select how the badge is issued. So in our case I'm going to choose that the badge is issued on the completion of an activity. Once you've selected the criteria, Moodle would list all of the activities that have, uh, have conditions set. So in this course there is only one activity, so I'm clicking on um, that activity, the choice. You'll also notice that you've got the choice of um, all of the selected activities or any of the selected activities. So if we had multiple activity completions, we could um, choose either of those settings. I'm going to click on save there. Now our badge is set up but it's currently not available and the last step to make it available is to click enable access. This means that when students complete this activity they will be issued this badge and continue. I'm now going to return to the course by clicking on my breadcrumbs and I'm actually going to complete that activity by going into the choice making a selection and saving my choice. Again returning to the course home page in the navigation I can go to badges and then course badges and we will see my badge and we'll also see the date that it was issued. All course badges will be listed in this um, screen and it will show the participant which of those badges they have earned if my site was connected to the internet, I would also be able to send my badges to my Mozilla backpack, making them available outside of Moodle. I've returned to the course homepage so that we can have a look at some of the other features for Moodle 2.5. One of the um, enhancements that's been made to course layout is the ability to easily jump between your sections if you're only showing one section per page. Let's turn that setting on by going to Edit Settings and then uh, scrolling down to course, course Format and Course Layout we're going to show one section per page. Then I'm going to scroll down and save those changes. In previous versions of Moodle this meant that we would see one section per page. Let's click on Turn Editing Off and then scroll down. Because we're on the course homepage, we can still see all of our topics with the activities and resources listed underneath the topic. When we enter a topic, we'll see the content for that topic and we'll also receive some navigation options so we can go back to the situational analysis topic or forward to the channels topic. The new feature for this particular layout is this jump to menu. So we can also click on the down arrow next to jump to and jump to a specific section of the course. So it makes the show one section per page a lot more useful and a lot easier to navigate throughout the course. Moodle 2.5 also has some new features in relation to the resource folder. You'll notice that I have added a folder to this course page and it looks just like a typical folder would. If we turn editing on and have a look at the settings for that folder you'll see that there are a couple of new um, folder settings. I'm just going to scroll down so that we can see where the new settings are. You'll see that um, under the content where we can see that this folder has a subfolder and also some files um, and in fact if I were to click on this case study there's also some uh, folders with sorry some files within that subfolder and underneath the content we can choose how the how to display the folder contents so uh, previously we had it displayed on a separate page but now we have the option of displaying the folder contents in line with um, the course page so it'll actually list those files and folders. We can also decide to show our subfolders expanded so that it does show all files at once and then click on save and return to course to see the effect. 
So you'll now see that that folder structure is actually um, expanded out so that the participants can see all of the files and folders within that particular folder resource. There are many other Moodle 2.5 features which are absolutely fantastic, but my 10 minutes is up. I would encourage you to visit the Moodle Docs um, release notes and also uh, search on YouTube for other videos about Moodle 2.5, including an excellent video by Mary Cooch about the scaffolding provided for essay questions in quizzes. And also Gavin Hendrick has created a range of Moodle 2.5 five videos. Thank you very much for your attention and hope you enjoy uh, your use of Moodle 2.5. It's got some fantastic new features and I hope you love it as much as I do. See you next time.